So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your very first tutorial for React Native. And in this tutorial, this would basically just be a kickstart off to the React Native series, which we're gonna do now, and basically learn about what React Native is and build some cool apps with it as well as we go along the way. So let's get started. All right, so in this web series, we're gonna do learn about react native what it is and why it is used basically we'll just take a look at that in this tutorial only and just go over through some basic building blocks like doing basic stuff like navigation and all transitions then some api fetching http requests timers and all that stuff which basically you would need to actually create a working a functional react native application and so um, let's start from the first question what the heck this react native is many of you might know but some of you who do not have any idea who have just stumbled upon here somehow on this channel and now are watching this tutorial randomly so for you guys what react native is is that it's a way to write cross-platform applications on javascript so if you know javascript then probably you can get started with react native immediately because um, what react native does is that it provides you a way to write javascript and then react native would turn that javascript into um, your native code it does not really turn that into a native code if you take a look at under the hood but let's just keep that abstracted and let's just assume that react native somehow does some magic and turn your javascript code into native code and basically once you're done with that your application actually runs native so it's not running into a browser or something which um, some hybrid application frameworks like ionic do react native actually runs native code on your device Plus, it's super fast to do. It's super easy to learn. You just have to learn JavaScript. If you have already learned JavaScript or you have been working with JavaScript for some time, then you're good to go, basically, for Android and iOS. Now, the downsides of React Native is that basically you cannot create almost every app with it. Um, I usually prefer to go with React Native for smaller and quicker apps and sometimes some big apps as well but react native i guess is not suitable for developing high-end performance things like games or something like that because in that case native is still the best though react native still compiles to native but i guess with native you have a lot of gears in hand to tweak the controls so with that being said let's begin with our react native journey I'll see you then in tutorial 2.